Philadelphia's Asian American community is reacting to the horrific deadly shootings in Atlanta. Marcus Espinosa live in Chinatown for us. Marcus. Hey, Jason, the good news is that Philadelphia police say there is no active threat to the community in a sort of violent way that you heard in that story, even though that story has not been connected yet as being racially motivated. But regardless, the community here is still on edge and ready for anything. People like telling me to go back to where I came from. Really? Yeah. Literally? Yeah. How does that make you feel? Um, it's only scary because I like like feel like I grew up here. I belong here. Philadelphia police tweeting out this message Wednesday announcing they are bolstering patrols around Asian communities and businesses in Philly. After a gunman shot and killed eight people, most of them women of Asian descent in the Atlanta area on Tuesday. Georgia police have not linked the shooting to a hate crime. Still, Commissioner Danielle Outlaw felt it necessary to beef up patrols, even though no similar threats have been made in Philly. Folks in our Community Relations Bureau have been in direct communication with liaisons from the Asian community uh, so that we, one, make sure we establish uh, our lines, maintain our lines of communications in the event something does need to be reported and to ensure that we have increased visibility in areas. A local massage parlor owner who did not want to be identified says his window front was smashed a couple months ago. Okay. Don't know exactly what happened, but um, a two glass pa panel was glass. broken. Uh, but not that many people in Chinatown get it. So uh, uh, I, don't, I don't want to connect this to the hate crime. The business owner says he tries to show compassion for all people right now, saying it's a troubling time in general. Great majority of the people, they understand. Uh, it's only for a very small, small amount of people that maybe they have a hate in their mind. Uh, I think they, they should uh, rethink again because uh, we are not that kind of uh, we are all friendly, so uh, please, let's just uh, work together. Commissioner Outlaw adding there may be unreported hate crimes that have taken place in the city. There were um, maybe some fear of reporting said crimes. We hadn't seen an increase uh, here, but we want to do everything that we can to keep open lines of communication so that people are comfortable with reporting if need be. Now, coming up tonight at 7 o'clock, right here where I'm standing in Chinatown, there is going to be a candlelight vigil for victims of anti-Asian violence that's taken place again at 7 p.m. at 10th and Vine. The shop owner I spoke with there really stressing unity and trying to come together and find our similarities instead of differences. Live in Chinatown, Marcus Espinosa, Fox 29 News.